In today's episode, Melanie Massarelli will be speaking with two of her former colleagues, Abby Lawrence and Sean Evans of Rosemere High School. Not only did Melanie work at Rosemere High School, she's also a former graduate of that school, and she has been a teacher at Sir Wilfrid Laurier School Board since 2006. She is now the director of Pet Affairs at Laurier Teachers Union. The idea for today's episode came from a social media post I saw. Following that, I reached out to teacher Abby Lawrence to find out more about what was described. Here are her words. For many years, I taught senior students. When I shifted to working with juniors, I realized how much more socially and emotionally vulnerable they are. I feel that my vocation is to ensure that students feel safe and supported. So I keep looking for ways to help make this a reality in our school. Well, here is how the Junior Cafe is described by the students who attend. The Junior Cafe is cool. Why? Because it's a place where students of Sec 1 and 2 can dine in a calm environment. We enjoy the Junior Cafe because we can meet up with friends, eat our lunch, and catch up on work. Teachers are also always there to help us with our work or answer questions. Following that, I knew that sometimes the simplest ideas can have the most tremendous impact, as is the case here. Enjoy today's episode. Hi, Sean. Hi, Abby. Welcome. I know. So I will get right into the questions. Uh, so we're here to talk about your junior cafe and activity you do at Rosemary High. So what is the junior cafe? The junior cafe is a really simple concept. It's a place where kids can come and eat in a quiet environment. Uh, it's located in a classroom in the lower circle of RHS, where the juniors, uh, most of the junior classes are. Um, yeah, so they get to go there and just get away from the, the crazy zoo-like atmosphere that takes place sometimes at RHS. And it's a, it's a quiet, I guess, more peaceful, calming place where you can just think and get your thoughts out and talk to friends or just eat your lunch quietly. All right. And... Uh... How did it get started? How did it come to be? Uh, well, basically a few years ago, uh, some of us junior teachers realized that it was really stressful to be a junior level student. Um, I had moved down from teaching the seniors and in getting to know the juniors, I saw just how anxious many of them were. And it was also a year in which I got to supervise the cafeteria and saw what um, an incredibly boisterous environment it was. So I started to really sympathize with the junior students. And uh, then in looking around our school design, it came to mind that there weren't many places for them to just hang out and relax. Uh, so we just decided to open up a classroom and see how it went. And it turned out to be pretty popular with lots of kids coming in. So we stuck with it. Yeah, we, we noticed that uh, a lot of the juniors would simply just eat their lunches on the floor, wherever they could mm -hmm. find a spot in a hallway. And we, you know, we, we'd always ask them like, why don't you go to the calf? Why don't you go somewhere you can sit down and relax? And like, no, no, it's okay. I'll just sit here as people walk over me. And <laughs> so we, we definitely saw that there's a need. And yeah, I think the calf can be very intimidating for them. They also can't leave the school grounds. So unlike the seniors who can kind of get out and they can grab a bite somewhere off campus, the juniors are stuck here and they're too intimidated, I think, to go. They're not supposed to be upstairs and too intimidated sometimes to go to the cap. So it's really, I think for some of them, not all of them, it's it's a nice space where they can just kind of get away and be comfortable and, and yeah. in a relaxing environment. Yeah, and for us, it was important that it be consistent as well, because of course there are clubs and extracurriculars that happen on different days of the cycle, but this we wanted to be open every single day so that if kids are not sure where to go, they always know that they have a place with the door open. Very cool. And how many students actually go to the junior cafe? It depends. Um, you know, sometimes you might have 10, sometimes you have 20, 25. But I think this year, at least I'm noticing mm -hmm. that it seems to be a consistent 20 students, 15 to 20 students are showing up every day. And it's funny because some of them don't even know about it. it, it it's no. just kind of a word of mouth at this point. Um, I also don't think we want to have 50 kids in the classroom because then it defeats the purpose of it. So not that we would reject anyone, but I think it's, it's the numbers are nice right now. And maybe we can open up more of them or more locations because yeah. I think it's, it is a, it's a valuable space for the students uh, in a building that doesn't have a lot of it. Yeah. 
All right. So um, why do you believe it's so popular among the students? Why are there always 20 students or more coming? Um, there are many students that are incredibly introverted, of course, that come into high school without really knowing who their friends are and are slowly trying to make their way. So you see as they shift through social groups that they'll come in here, some of them from time to time or some of them really consistently when things are not going well uh, socially. Um, we've seen some kids that just want to come in because they actually like to have a little bit of a connection with an adult. So they'll come in and just want to chat outside of class time. And it seems to be a place really that's not uh, got any expectations. So it even draws in the kids that have behavior issues in class and gives us an opportunity to connect with them. So it's just, it seems to be non-threatening enough that it, it makes them all feel, feel comfortable when they come in here. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's like an extra, also sometimes a remed room. Some students will do a little bit of work as well. Yeah. You know, not, there's no, there's no expectation placed on the students when they enter, just that, um, you know, you're, you're being polite and respectful and that's really about it. Uh, and you're not being too loud, you know? Um, so if you, they do, uh, the students that want to listen to, uh, shows on their phone, you know, they bring your phones and they do that. If they want to zone out that way, that's fine. And some other students might want to, uh, do homework and, or other things just catch up. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a, a space with, yeah, really like, I guess, zero expectations. So that's, yeah, it suits the every other room that they walk into in school, they have expectations, things to do. This one, there isn't. Yeah, it's a simple format, but it works well. Yeah, is it mainly students that come alone or in groups? It's totally dependent on the day. There's really no way to to foresee who's going to come in. Again, there are a couple of kids that come in and just sit by themselves, but others that pull a bunch of desks together and create a sort of group dynamic. Um, we've had groups that come in and want to grab the deck of cards, or we usually have some board games as well. So it depends on the group and what they're they're wanting to do. But anything is fine as long as they're not overly loud. Cool. Yeah. So when you think of the Junior Cafe, what are you most proud of? Hmm. I think that we that we gave uh, we created a space for students. I think that would be it. Um, and then it's, again, like I said before, it's something that's simple and it, we didn't have to overthink it and recreate the wheel. It's just a very simple solution to a problem. And we were able to, uh, to provide that. And um, yeah, I just think it's, it's, it's nice for those kids to not have to feel like they, they have to eat on the floor. I guess if you want to eat on the floor, that's fine. But <laughs> we're noticing that not all of them in, in the end wanted to eat on the floor. So they like to sit on chairs and a desk. Yeah and do that so yeah yeah personally I have to say the thing that has given me a lot of pride is was totally not something that I predicted and it's that a lot of the kids that come in are the ones that I don't seem that I seem to connect with very well in class where they have behavior problems or for whatever social reasons they're not uh, complying with the classroom rules but then they come in we start to chat I get to know them we start to build a bit of a relationship and then it seems like things go better in class when I'm with them afterwards so it's really cool to see that it then has a spillover effect to more positive academic performance for some of them. That is very cool. All right, so where do you see this going? What's the future of your junior cafe? I guess we're going to expand. <laughs> we're gonna franchise the junior cafe and uh, it'll only be for a small fee. Um, no, I, I, I think an expansion, it, it could be more to like, we do have other clubs as well. So they have, there's like, a, there's like a movie club that is all runs every day too. So those are spaces they are different than the junior cafe, but we have a few of them, but I think maybe it'd be something we could have a senior cafe. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not sure that all the seniors, you know, just want to hang out in the cafe or, you know, they might find a, a useful spot for them up in the, in the upper circle or in the annex where most of the seniors are. So that's what I see. I think keeping it as it is and, and possibly maybe expanding for juniors or maybe for seniors. So. Yeah, I agree. And I really think we have to play it year by year. This year, we've had a huge increase in the number of juniors. So of course we have to approach yeah. a little bit differently, um, but going forward, we just, uh, I think for me, we want to throw it out to the juniors and see what do they want of this space. And if they have different needs and different expectations, then we adapt with what they're, they're looking for in the space. And again, possibly open up new rooms so that it fits the different needs and expectations that the kids are vocalizing. Very cool. 
So I guess I just want to thank you both for sharing this with us. Uh, previously, when I worked at Rosemary High, I knew about this. It was a little more secret at the time, I believe, but uh, it's nice to see that it's expanded and that uh, students have a place where they're safe and they're able to go. And though it is a quiet place, they can still, you know, do activities or watch TV and not have to sit on the floor uh, in the hallways. <laughs> That's a good thing. So basic. Yes. Thanks for taking interest in it yeah. <laughs> and us allowing them to have a chair and a desk to eat their <laughs> lunch at. No tablecloths yet, but we're getting there. Yeah. Uh, you know, fundraisers, right? An idea yes, for the future. Microwave. I think a microwave. Would we had well. one in the past, but we're not allowed to have it in the room anymore. We yeah. kept blowing the uh, breaker. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oops. Yes, electrical issues. Yes. <laughs> I remember those two. And so. that I couldn't teach in last period because I had no electricity <laughs> in my room. Anyway. Well, thank you again for sharing that with us, and uh, we appreciate it. Thanks yeah. so much. It's our pleasure. Yeah. Bye. Bye.